welcome back everyone to another video and this one we'll be taking a look at warp os now warp os was initially a collaboration between microsoft and ibm and this was simply os2 called operating system 2 and uh, on the wiki page it actually says that it shared similarities between unix Xenix, and windows nt which kind of does not make much sense but um still it's there and i've never used it so i thought about giving it a go so the warp the one we are using is called warp 4 and it came around 1996 and it supported uh smp so multiple cores will be putting it through that and we'll be using virtualbox to do so so let's see uh, how it is installed so i'll be doing uh step by step installation as well as uh you know walk through about what warp os is so first of all i'll create a new uh, virtual machine uh, just enter warp 4 and in type uh, it does actually have an option for that particular operating system now in ram i'll give it a massive 512 megabytes uh, just to be a generous god and I'll create a virtual machine 2 gigabytes should be more than enough and uh, I'll do that uh, I'll go ahead in the settings uh, tweak out a few things um, I will have the processors at 2 cores enable PAEA and uh, okay uh, and enable this uh acceleration is on display i'll give it a whole 128 megabytes with 3d acceleration uh and in floppy my folder for warp os select the installation disk in iso i will go ahead and choose the ibm os2 warp for uh, iso and that's about it and maybe a bridge network adapter uh that should be good to go so let's go ahead and start our virtual machine view and full screen mode we'll switch to that now as soon as it boots up it says it's more it wants the uh, next uh, disk so we'll go ahead input or wait a second devices floppy and choose another disk image uh, and choose disk one and press enter so we are at the boot flash i guess splash so we are at the boot splash screen and let's just wait for it to load up all right so now it's asking for another diskette uh floppies and let's choose the next one and press enter and it will load it uh, this is our initial installation stage uh, let's just press enter and easy installation now it has formatted the hard drive and it again needs the main installation disk devices floppy and we'll just select installation img and uh, press the enter key and it should reboot come on oh come on yep there it is Control. and now it again needs the disk so it just for following the uh, first thing that it initially what it did and there we have it so simply again disk it too uh, I hope this is the last time it's doing this and there we go press enter it's loading finally um and yep so there is it it's installing files i can really see the dlls and the exes go by so it does have a lot of uh windows dna in its uh, and windows nt dna there and the file system is also the c uh, drive uh, the windowy type file system there the flat type and um you can also see control or delete it's also there so it's right it's kind of like windows i mean it it is made in uh with ibm but it should be interesting to see what it actually is 
so uh, while it's doing all of this uh, one thing I would like to say is that the operating system is actually uh, available free of cost directly from IBM so it's all legal and stuff so you can go ahead and download it I'll leave the link in the description and all of that stuff so let's go ahead and remove floppy drive and uh, press enter and that should reboot us and so OS2 we can see there tiny little OS2 on the screen and let's just wait it out alright so we finally have the system configuration screen let's go ahead and click next uh, let's ignore most of this stuff and just skip by um, we don't need printers so okay mm. okay and done so next 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 user ID um, that should be enough okay that should do it um, next previous ignore next DHCP hmm okay so this should be online zero dot let's put a random address um, 35 is not taken some net would be 255.255.255.0 this should be 192.168.01 okay uh, let's leave this uh, this should be and I'll just keep this at 8 next nope alright so probably installing the rest of the things and let's just wait it out and see how it goes Alright, finally there with the uh, Warp OS 4, uh, OS 2 Warp version 4 and um, yep, there it is uh, working and let's see what it can do. Really funky um, the symbols, window controls there. Okay, okay. So really nice, they show the RAM right up there. Uh, fat 32 so I, it it has all the um windowy goodness what is this okay so system should be our you know stuff 
command prompts OS Windows OS 2 full screen DOS so they actually have a bunch of um a bunch of terminal emulators if I may okay so does Windows command work on here probably and let's open up DOS as well okay so um I have no idea how different they are but DIR seems to work on both of them not really good at um you know Windows command line uh, so list is uh, what else can we do uh, disk part was that even available there uh, nope so they didn't have disk part, part back then although they do have the uh, DOS uh, environment here for some reason um, wow okay so this is Windows 2 I guess their own version and it's in built into OS 2 what the hell um, wow so uh, okay this is a bit odd so windows own os2 is installed over os2 warp and i can actually go back to os2 warp whoa all right so um first of all netscape navigator let's see if the internet actually works maybe okay what <laughs> so look at this loading screen right there this is small monitor going oh so http colon dash dash www.google.com this should work probably maybe eh. so what was this netscape navigator and um hmm Back in my day, you had to type HTTP. Yep, that didn't work. Probably a old website should. What's an old website that I can remember? Um. Will this work? Okay, so um wikimedia.org did it work sort of I could say what is this doing in the background Let's close that um my website it works <laughs> so um yeah i didn't load any of the other content mm -hmm. so okay so um yeah it kind of work it's really old so it won't really work uh let's check out other things that we have games solitaire chess so I, I 
I know it has a 3D chess kind of a thing going on. Uh, so let's match up two computers, right? And go. This should be interesting. Can I rotate the chess board a bit? View, rotate 3D board. Okay, so that does not happen in real time, but uh, I can actually rotate the board. So it's just two computers playing back to back earlier versions of sort of artificial intelligence would you call them and then there is Mahajang as well okay so I guess this and this okay wait a minute I knew how to play that yep there that's how you play this right um and then this you cannot click nor you can click this not this either so should be somewhere six and this won't work <laughs> all right so again yeah the, it works so uh games are there few i guess uh and windows programs program manager that should open up the windows program manager again so it's kind of a weird OS. so there's two things going on as far as i've understood there is a windows backend with an ibm front end or something like that and you can have that exe files running and working um close so maybe like a nt kernel working at the back of this os and then i don't know what they're doing with this adobe type manager version 2.5 wasn't even born back then okay and um let's close this paintbrush yay painting almost forgot about java i'll just switch and close everything else and go ahead and look take a look at java um sure, sure should be interesting they have movies we'll go back to that in a second programs java and um okay so it's java applet viewers run java program okay so i i don't have a java program on hand but it seems that it is capable of doing so the resolution is so bad except for some reason okay so let's take a look at movies do they have any macau oh <laughs> those colors though what is it like 8 bit or 16 bit although it is playing back smooth um let's look at its properties okay right, so we won't be getting any other data from that what the about the resolution and stuff so maybe from here mm -hmm. so it seems that's about it for the video part uh bitmaps and images would be there these are just demo stuff i'm guessing 
and images what jpeg i don't know maybe yeah jpeg they had jpeg back then i mean it is kind of old but uh i mean look at the quality but still so how big are these 24 bit rgb doesn't look like that and um actual size actual size isn't that big uh how big is this file so it's just 31 kilobytes around maybe that's about it hmm how big was the video file a few megabytes at least properties and um it's like three yeah about a megabyte yeah so not that big i mean you wouldn't have the processors back then to render all of this anyway okay let's take a look at what the configuration is so i was sitting here and wondering what this shredder is and it just occurred to me that it's actually the um trash bin so if i put any file in it that would be it uh, that would be uh, actually deleted all right so it finally found out the uh, way to uh, you know actually find out what hardware we are running on so for computer it actually says uh, ibm that's the bias version i guess a processor is 486dx so it's not taking anything above that so of course no two cores or multiprocessor or something like that no external math processor nothing's being emulated at that moment so it's just plain simple uh, 486dx that is being emulated uh, memory is uh how much memory does it take actually this was a very weird kind of a mixture of two things so it's dos running in the background i am guessing and then uh, over that this os2 warp uh kind of a thing going on and kind of like android if you think with their own you know linux base as a core and then the user mainly interacts with the uh android runtime environment and whatnot so sort of like that but uh maybe not really so anyways uh thank you so much for watching this video and more like coming with me to journey and to this journey and discovering this thing kind of a long video uh, has, this has been uh, at least for me uh, i know i don't know how long it will be when i've edited it probably more than 20 minutes but anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one please do remember to like this video if you do like it and subscribe to this channel and thank you so much for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one